It seems my plan is going all too well. The Master Crafters have conquered all of my plans. The Meteor, the Skeleton Horses, even turning one of their members on themselves. <laughs> I have foreseen this coming. <laughs> Apprentice! Yes, Dark One. You called me. It is your time you have created your own lot. I have done my work well, and now I will rest. It is your turn now. Uh, th th thank you. It is a great honor. Do not disappoint me. I let the Zetha control your mind, just like I did with that tall Lego fella. <laughs> that was indeed enjoyable to watch. I won't disappoint. Good. <laughs> oh my. I do not want to disappoint my master. What to do, what to do. I got it! This plan. Yes. They will never see it coming. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful sleep. Oh man. It's raining again? Really? <laughs> and poor tall Lego box, he has a hole for a house, man. We gotta get rid of all these holes. We got a lot to do today, holy smokes. There is a lot of construction we need to get done. And of course, it's raining again. Well, isn't that fantastic? Yeah, there's a lot of rain on this server. But I guess we should get- whoa. What is this? Arise the old order. This you must do. Wait. I know what this is. The red color. The old order. But who else knows? This was supposed to be top secret. What? What? <laughs> Arise the old order. Are they really talking about? Casnia. Yes. I guess this is my order then. But who, who gave me this order? That's the true question. But if they do want me to arise the old order, I guess I shall do it. <laughs> well, the old order shall rise again. <laughs> I put a little promotion that says the old world will rise again. Got some flags here. And um, yeah. So, the old order of Kaznia. Yes. First, we need to get people to come to our order. And then, we'll just see what we need to get done next. But, yes. <laughs> I think this shall be fun for the server. Kaznia will strike again. <laughs> anyway, enough of that Kaznia talk. We actually got real progress to do today. So we're here at our shopping district and a couple more shops have popped up. So we have Bob's two shops here, which I showed you guys in last episode. We also have a new shop by Bob, which is a arrow shop where we can buy all the tips, arrows and everything. So we have a bunch of different potions and that is what he's actually getting villagers for. So I think this shop is actually going to be coming soon. Of course, we have Rage Monkey's ran down shop that he's never finished. But you probably noticed this giant sheep here. And yep, this is actually my shop right here. So. We have gotten a load of work off camera. We actually have a sheep farm right here, all designed and everything. This sheep farm here is actually designed by Navy Nexus. I'll put it the video of his tutorial in the link in the description below. But how this farm actually works is that we go all the way over to a lever right here and we pull the lever. Now, cause we're actually so far away from the actual sheep farm, the chunks with the hoppers and the dispensers with shears in them will actually be loaded, but the chunks with the sheeps will not because the chunk border is right in between the sheep and the dispensers. 
and that way we can actually get about 112 stacks of wool every time we use this and it only takes about 30 seconds so this farm is absolutely amazing now of course it does take 16 shears every time you use it and that's why we need to get a iron farm built up sometime but we actually have a ton of wool that we're actually going to sell in our giant sheep i also used a guiding image to help me with the proportions of this giant sheep and i'll also link it in the description but holy cow we need to get this area all ready so first up we need to get this grass all the way done to cover up the farm that way we don't have anybody just going through our farm and everything and then we need to actually build the shop inside of the giant sheep. So I guess we'll get to work here. We got a lot of stuff to do today. And I've already set up a pre-shop where you can buy some white wool here. And looks like we already got a sale. That is absolutely awesome. So we're selling at one diamond per two stacks. And of course, we're going to relocate all the wool into the sheep. So I guess we'll get started here. Okay, so it took me a while, but I finally got the area all cleaned up. So we have grass and everything covering our little sheep farm. And then we also have two ways to get up and down through water faders. Now I'm going to put soul sand and magma in these little two holes later. But we actually need to decorate this little area and get the shop rolling and everything. So we need to put in some chests and stuff where we're going to put all of the wool and then we also have an employee's entrance over on the other leg where we can go down into the farm. So I guess I'll be working on this. We'll get all of the shop finished up and ready to go. That way we can sell all of our wool. Okay, and there we go. We got some progress done here. As you can see, we have our bubble elevators and as well as our chests of wool all ready to go and to be sold. Now... I do need some sort of lighting solution, but I'll figure that out later. I'll just leave the torches here. It does look kind of weird with all the torches, but oh well. And we also have our little counter here where we have welcome to the wool shop. All wool, one diamond for two stacks. And then we have all of our wool. I'll definitely have to restock on all of the other colors because I have enough white wool for, well, probably for a little while. But we're definitely going to have to restock on these. And this isn't the best solution, but I also put some doors here and I decided to go 2012 style because of we're putting a sheep and everything kind of an older style. So I just went with the regular oak wood and everything. So hopefully this shop will be pretty successful. Who knows? <laughs> it's just wool. But anyway, while I was actually putting all of this grass in, I actually got a few humongous surplus of grass and two more shulker boxes of grass. So we're going to actually head over to our Mushroom Island and get that grassed up just a bit further. And we'll see where the progress goes and everything. And I also have to reheal my shovel. So I guess we'll go over to our Mushroom Island and we'll get started on putting more grass and replacing it all from mycelium. So a little while longer and we finally got all of this area grassed up here. We got all of that small island with all the grass and then this area is also new. And we got some of these areas as well, but holy cow, if we fly up here, we have a ton more to go. And so this will probably be a crazy project we'll have to get done over the season and hopefully we can eventually get this all to be grass instead of mycelium because holy smokes this is a humongous area to put all the grass in but we are actually going to go over i've gotten the maps that we had in the sanctuary and i wanted to see how they were going to update and so it looks like that one barely updated so yeah, I'm going to update all of the maps and then we'll go back to the sanctuary and put them all in and just hopefully see what it looks like here. And as you can see, all the maps are updating and everything. I think it looks spectacular how it's all updating. And so we're going to go back to the sanctuary and check it out. Okay, there we go. We have all of the maps updated. And as you can see, we have our little port city with our two ships 
And we got all of the maps updated so that we can see all of the grass that we have done. But holy cow, we still have another half of the island to go. And that's going to be a crazy grind because as you can see in these areas, we have a bunch of mountains and everything. So that's going to be a little bit harder to put all of the grass in. But I think we have done some awesome progress this episode. We got all of this area and this area done and so yeah we're definitely gonna have to do this in a another episode where we just grind it all out and get the rest of the island done but it's definitely not this episode but anyway we're gonna actually go back over to our mushroom island and finally get some of those interiors done and i accidentally <laughs> clicked on one of those maps here but yeah i do want to finally get the interiors or at least some of the interiors inside the house and the pagoda that we actually have and i've been putting it off for a while but i finally want to get some of it done today so let's go back over to the island okay so we're back here over at our buildings and yeah <laughs> as you can see the entire interior needs to be done we need to put some things in here I've done some work to the outside. I put some leaves and some of the stone already in. I'm going to continue the path. And this area is going to be for a future building that we're probably going to do next episode. And then, of course, we have our little pagoda where we actually got pranked by Bob. <laughs> I don't know if I showed this yet, but yeah, he put a bunch of banners all around the pagoda. And so we're going to have to clean these up but anyway. I think we do need to put an interior here because, well, it's feeling a little empty here. And so I got all of the materials that I will need to make it a little bit better and just put a little more life into these buildings. So yeah, first up, I'll probably work on this small building right here at our port city. Okay, so I put a small little interior here. I'm not the best at designing interiors, but I think it will do so we have a little office here with a few chairs the main chair and then we have the off chairs and then we also actually have a chest and a cartography table a couple bookshelves and just a little chandelier here and i also put some leaves in the front just to make it look a little bit better so i think it actually came out really nicely i do really love the design here and of course, I will link the designer in the description for this because, man, this is an amazing design. But anyway, I think we're going to actually go over to our pagoda here and get the rest of the interior over there design. And hopefully we can do a ton of stuff inside. That way we can actually be pretty proud of this build. Okay, we got a lot of work done here in the pagoda, and we actually have some separate rooms here, which I have made with some birch doors. I think it looks really cool, and it fits with the style. But anyway, we'll investigate the rooms here. So first up, we actually have a room where we have our smokers and our blast furnaces here, and a secret little barrel as well. And I thought just to keep the designs a bit uh, simple so not that much detail because I'm not that great and I don't want to spend that much time but I think we put enough detail into these interiors to um, actually make it look pretty good so in this room here we actually have a little place where you can come and sit and get all warm up by the campfires that we actually have underneath now, I wish there was some way in Bedrock where you could actually get rid of most of the smoke particles because I think this is way too much, but I don't think there really is. They have some in Java, but I don't think there is in Bedrock. Over here, we actually have a Onsan, which is a small little pool that they have in Japan where you can go and relax and sit and just enjoy the hot water. And so I thought it would just be really cool to add some banners as well, just as little details. And then if we go into this room here as well, we got our furnaces going and just a detail into for the room here. And then I also put some bushes on either sides here. So we can actually go upstairs here. And as we go up, we can see that the design gets us a bit more simpler and a bit more 
made for the survival modes. We actually have chest here, which we can store stuff. Now I'm gonna have to switch these two to uh, barrels because you currently can't open them. But <laughs> we kind of have a similar thing on the other side here with some chests and a few other things as well. And I just put a shelf where we just have a piece of meat for random. I don't know why I just put it there, but I thought it was cool. And then we also have assorted crafting things. We have our uh, anvil and we also have our grindstone. And then on the other side, we actually have our cartography table and a um, whatever this is called. <laughs> And then if we go above, we actually have our library. Now, this is one of my favorite rooms here. We got our bushes, our bookshelves, and I think it really has a neat design because we went a little bit darker on the colors, and I think it really contrasts with the rest of the build. Also, I put these dark oak trap doors to actually hide the area which we can go up into our master bedroom now it is a little bit cramped in here because we didn't have much space to work with but we do have our little master bed where we can come and sleep and then we can go back down to our library and relax so i think this design actually came out really well and then also on the outside i added the lanterns here so as we can see if we go out here to the building it looks a bit more spectacular and it really does pop at night so i think this build is actually finally finished we finally finished this thing and i'm really proud of this design here and of all the work that we've done in the build and i really love the interior and the exterior but of course we do have a ton more work here on the island to get done we need to build our harbor town here and a bunch of other things i'm planning some things for over in this area and over in this area hopefully we can get done with this island sometime soon but i think it will be a grind to get it done so also reminds me of grindy things we actually have a project with bob that is ongoing we actually had a live stream so we're gonna head over to our district with all the farms here because that's where it is located Okay, so we are now actually over by the farming district. Our gold farm is actually about 100 blocks that way. And me and Bob on stream actually took out three ginormous chunks. And we mined them all the way to the bottom here. Now, I was actually cleaning the walls just to make it a bit cleaner. Of course, we need to get a ton more work done. And if you can guess it, yes, these are actually slime chunks. So we are going to be building a slime farm next episode. And so we need to get all of the levels done and everything. That way, all the slimes will have spawning spots, which um, will help them actually go towards the snowmen, which we will have. Uh, instead of iron golems because, well, we don't have enough iron. <laughs> That's why I need an iron farm. So yeah, this project will definitely be for uh, next episode because we're going to actually wrap it up here. But I have some few ideas on how to cover the top here. So I'm thinking that we actually put red glass all around and then we just terraform this mountain here just a bit. That way it will smoothen right here and then we can have red glass. And the reason I want to have red glass here is in this chunk here i hopefully <laughs> this is just an idea but i think it'd be really cool to build some sort of tower and this will actually be the headquarters of kaznia yes the order of old that someone has told me to bring alive and so i did this order has actually been in our little group for a while now and i think every member on the server actually knows what it is but I guess we'll have to keep it a secret from you guys. <laughs> but I guess you'll have to find out what Kaznia really is and everything. But those are just my ideas. Hopefully we can get them all into Minecraft. But yeah, we're definitely going to work on this next episode. And we're probably also going to work on the Mushroom Island a little bit as well. Just getting some things done. And I'm hoping to put another building but if we look over in this area, I believe it's in one of these chests here. Yes, we actually have 
enough stone and materials to actually build the iron farm as well. So we're going to do that in the future. I'm really excited to get that farm up and running. But yeah, this is going to be a crazy task that we're going to have to do. And so we're definitely going to do this next episode. But anyway, guys, I think we'll wrap up the episode here. We have gotten a ton of work done in this episode, and I'm really excited to get our work done in the next episode. Of course, if you didn't know, we are actually live streaming on Thursdays, most Thursdays, around 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're going to be actually working here on MC101. So that is definitely what we're going to be doing. We're probably going to actually work on the slime farm more during the live stream. So make sure to pop on by if you are interested. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It's going to be a blast putting these episodes together and everything. And I actually got a new editor, so hopefully it looks a ton better. But anyway, thank you guys and have an amazing rest of your day.